surely the original one would have almost finished by now. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. This video serves several purposes, the most important of which is to show off how I used a feature that was introduced in GNU Bash 4, Associative Arrays, to make one shell script run hundreds, if not many thousands of times faster. In one of my tests, it ran over 9,000 times faster. On GitHub, I have a little repo called Snippets Shell Scripts, which is where we will be today. Score video files is what we're interested in. What do score video files do, you might ask? Well, this is my scores file. This is a set of scores from said scores file. Each video file that is not encoded in my YouTube archive, it has a resolution and a file size, and statistics are gathered for each file to come up with an arbitrary number that's useful relative to other numbers generated the same way to determine whether or not if you encode this versus the other files that have a lower score, you'll get more compression. You'll lose more space usage by replacing the original with the compressed copy. Don't take too much stock in what you see on the screen. I archive hundreds of channels I'd show you, but it would just flood the console with text. So we'll skip that for now. Score Video Files produces these scores, and its companion script translates scores to directory scores, converts that set of scores on a per file basis. What's most important here is how this works. The scores generator is just a simple shell script. The way that we run it is just to run it. And the current version uses this scores text file as a database of sorts. The previous version would just check every single video file running FF probe every time and spew out a bunch of numbers, but it could take literally an hour to run in the absolute worst case. It reprocessed files unnecessarily. So here's where it gets interesting, and let me see if I can give you this also, by the way, this color diff. The if you've ever seen the program colordiff.org. Colordiff.org is written in Perl. Not very useful if you don't have Perl. And I don't have Perl on this embedded system that I do this on. It, I don't want to explain it. Bottom line is I don't have Perl and I don't want Perl. So I wrote a little helper shell script, which you can find in the snippets. Colordiff is in the snippets. It is very rudimentary, but it gets the job done, as you are about to see. Colordiff and score video files slow, which is the original, and score video files .sh, which is the new one that's over 9,000 times faster. This is the difference, and it would help if I used a pager. All right, so what do we have going on here? Declare associative array SCK, which stands for scores, check. Use associative array as a fast lookup table. So what this does is it sets the associative array, it uses the path in question as a key and sets it to one, which makes it exist if you look up that path as the key. What we're doing here is hijacking Bash 4's associative array feature as a hash table. You know how in Python you can have sets and do hash lookups that way? Well, in here, look at this joy. We can do the same thing in Bash, if you have Bash 4 or later. The trick is to use the path as the key, and then see if you have anything in that variable with that same path later. And that's what this does down here. While, blah, 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 and it just scans in a linear fashion through the entire array of files that have been loaded. If we have that string, then that means the file exists and we don't have to scan linearly, it can do a hash table lookup to find out. Um, and if we don't have that string, if we don't have this variable set to one, if the key just returns an empty set, then we know we don't have it. So that's what this is doing here. It's basically looking it up in the hash table, which we've hijacked the associative array to do, and it skips it over and adds it as needed, whatever. So what this does, is, well, I could show you, and I have a backup of my scores file so I can show you, but remember this. Uh, I want you to appreciate this. 
This is so fast, and this just checked. It didn't run any FF probes. Those are slow no matter what you do. But all it did was check the list. And there, it said added one. I may have uh, slipped up on something. But anyway, it, it checked the list. It didn't really add much of anything. So that was 13 seconds. That's fast. We, we can wait on that in a video. It's so fast. Now here's the problem with this one. Score video file slow is this version here in the red prior to my changes. Prior to using associative arrays as a hash lookup there. Boom. All right, loading scores file. And it doesn't really take much longer, but it's so slow. Surely the original one would have almost finished by now. And it's only checked 160. Not acceptable. That's why we made the change here. Associative arrays, used as a hash lookup, makes everything massively faster. It's important to know these cute little features in whatever it is that you use, because if you can find something like this that you can repurpose or modify or whatever to do what you're trying to do faster, it can make a huge difference. Now, why Bash? Why not Python? Why not Perl? I don't know, why not Lua? I don't have Lua, I don't have Python, I don't have Perl. This system on this computer is actually decompressed on the fly at startup and is complete. All of the software is already in it. Python and Perl are humongous chunky things. Lua, I, I gotta be honest, I don't know Lua. I don't know if Lua would be suited to this. Uh, I've heard good things about it, but the bottom line is Lua would be yet another thing. Bash allows me to write this stuff quickly, and I don't have to worry about having an interpreter around for whatever funky language. And yeah, I get that Python is super popular, and Perl is quite popular too. The bottom line is Bash is practically everywhere. So if I write this in Bash, it's more reusable. Now, in practicality, everything has a Python interpreter these days, so it's not necessarily as big of an argument as it used to be. But because we have this in Bash, and a lot of things have Bash, this does depend on Bash 4 for it to work, but because most things have Bash and have a fairly recent version of Bash, I don't know about Max though, as far as the version, but we can pretty safely rely on this being present. There are, I think, some other shells that have associative arrays as well. I don't know, I haven't tested it with them. The, the bottom line is that if you learn these features in whatever you use, be it a programming language or a scripting language, whatever, compiled, interpreted, if you can find a feature that optimizes things like this, even if, it's, if you're using it a little bit differently than intended, if it works, it can make a huge difference. So you should definitely seek such things out. Now, real quick, color diff, I just want to show it off since you saw it earlier. What it does is it allows you to set a different diff binary if you want to. These are color codes. Notice the dollar sign apostrophe and the escape code and black, red, green, and so on. Then while IFS equals nothing so that it doesn't interpret anything as a, a field separator, read and it checks. Basically all it does is yank the first character of every line it reads and if it's one of these characters it colors it appropriately. So cyan for at and zero through nine, red for minus or left angle bracket, green for plus or right angle bracket, which you know is add and everything else just white. That's it. And this little file slurp here, whatever, command slurp, I don't know what it's called, slurp, something slurp, uh, runs the diff command with every other option the user specified. Um, I don't use every single possible edge case of diff. All I use is diff with uh, dash, usually capital N, lowercase a, lowercase u, um, sometimes not even that much. And busybox diff, which is what I normally use on the system you saw, it only does the unified output format as far as I know. So that's the end of that. Yeah, so that made a big difference and I was pretty happy with it. Uh, I think there was one more thing I did to the script, but it wasn't a big deal. Um, if you declare your integers in Bash as actual integers while you assign them, 
it it's a minor performance speed up it's not major but that does help anyway i thought you would be interested in that too so that's how i improved the speed of my video database scoring file thingy like comment subscribe if this helped you in any way i'd love to hear it give me a comment i really love comments that say anything that is productive and either positive or constructively critical and if this really helped you out a lot if you if you you know you still saw some economic impact from it if it made your life easier somehow go down there go to jodybruchon.com and there are support links where you can give me all your money in a paper bag Actually, I don't think they take paper bags, but I'll still be happy to take that money out of your wallet so that you don't have to carry a heavy wallet. I am so generous in that regard. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a wonderful day. Happy programming. Bye-bye.